Hello, good morning, and welcome to the Budget Modelers Buddy Build with Edward and in brackets Revel Desert Babes 172nd Tornado Build. You have a good morning from me, and from him, you have a uh, good evening. <laughs> How to confuse the crap out of people. <laughs> 8, 8 pm here in Newcastle, Australia. Cool, and it is 11 am here in. Uh, Rushton, Rushton, as the locals call it. Hmm. So, how are you, John? What have you been up right. to today? I've been pottering around. Uh, I had a uh, like a veteran sort of coffee and breakfast sort of meet uh, at uh, one of the local uh, nurseries, uh, about uh, half an hour away or so, and uh, yeah, did that for a couple of hours and had a good chat about all sorts of stuff. And um, yeah, and then spent half the day. Doing a bit of modelling on, on another project. Which hmm. is? Uh, it's a wooden ship. Oh, come on then. Let's have a look. You know you want right. to show it. <laughs> um, this is a Calder Craft 164 scale HM Brig Supply. So uh, I was waiting for a while for the cleats, as you see at the bottom of the masts. Uh, they're not in place yet. They're about to be. And the bowsprit is now fixed. And I've got a bit of uh, the jib stays and boom stays and all that sort of stuff like that. So that's a bit of progress there. So pottering around with that stuff. Cool. So what how's, you been the up to? how's the Tonka coming on? All right. Let's 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 change camera. I'll show you where I am. Um, right. So what, what I've got is, uh, as as we were last week, um, the, I have nose weights. In oh, some lead shot in the radome that's been closed up, and a little bit of putty applied in the gap that was there. Um, I painted the glare shield and fitted the uh, the holder for the combiner, the the HUD reflect reflector glass. Yep. Um, and had the the rest of the fuselage together. The tail had been fitted later in the week, but. That's uh, about to go together now. I'll move that aside. I don't need that. It all fits rather well uh, until such time as the, the intakes go on. What I did do a bit earlier today is uh, last session, I put some um, Mr. Uh, um, Mr. Finishing Surfacer 1500 on, on those to flatten them out and shave them down with a bit of a – sanded them down with a couple of Infini sticks – uh, and then I have with this tool, um, just yeah, rescribed the uh, the panel lines back into where they should be on top of the intakes there. And I have to be very careful with that because what I have done, these top bits are very very thin, so it's a sliver that's left on that side there. But uh, we'll see how that goes later on. It's not so bad. Yeah. But um, this all should go together today. We'll see how <laughs> that goes or otherwise. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Yourself? Looking good. Looking good so far. How are so, you going with yours? I'm going pretty well, thank you. Uh, I've done a bit of pottering around this morning. Um, I've glued the wings in place. There's one of the airbags. The other one, I put the wrong way around. So I've had to reshape and redo that one. So that one's drying. So I'll see how that goes i've got the cockpit section still needs filing down there and under there so mm. i'm doing that uh got the engines sorted so they need to go together and primed and sprayed mm -hmm. so i will do those at some stage and what else have I got done? Ah, uh, ba ba ba. That's about. Oh, yeah, my intake's already done. Cleaned up and rescribed, so they're all done. So I'm quite happy with those. Nice. Um. Also, been doing. I've got got the tail on. <laughs> Big gap there. So a bit of sprue glue in there. Uh, rescribed these lines because they were very faint. So they've been rescribed and cleaned up. So it's just waiting for that to dry and then clean that up. So today I'll mainly be cleaning 
this lot up and working on those. Hmm. I've got the uh, actuators in there, well, the cogs in there for the right. uh, thrust bucket actuators. So the cogs are in there. So it's just, yeah, pottering around and getting a little bit of some pieces ready for cracking on. So, yeah. Nice. I haven't looked at the exhaust yet. I see. What I haven't done is the um, <laughs> I haven't done the uh, the what the the wing bags yet. Yeah, uh, uh, I, the ones that come with a kit are bloody awful. Well, that's right. Um, but in my usual style, I've, I've put them down somewhere and I can't see them straight away. So I'll, I'll find them at some point in the next couple of days or next couple of hours. We'll see how we go. Yep. I'm terrible for doing that. I did have a clean up here, but uh, as you can imagine, I had, yeah, like when the ship comes down, it takes up a lot of room because I've got all the fittings for that and big boxes and plans all over the floor here. Yeah. All right. So. <clears throat> so, we've got a comment. Who's in? And it is Plastic Monkey. Morning, guys. Morning, Plastic. Hope you're well. Hi. How you doing? How's your build coming along, matey? swapping blades uh this one's a sharp one but I keep on remembering to uh change it out whenever i'm cutting photo etch or anything like that yeah <laughs> i just want to preserve this a little bit longer there we go still sharp Mayfield's in as well. Oh, hello. It's a uh... morning, gentle peeps. Morning, John. Okay, John. Uh, building painting stage. Uh, thanks. Enjoying the sunshine, says Plastic. Oh, yes, it's lovely and sunny here. And John says, No, I'm not doing my lank at the moment, Steph. No, you're probably having your lunch. Is it dark there yet, John? Yes. Um, got, uh, let's see. It's been dark for about an hour and a half or so. Um, it's a long weekend here. What what you guys would call a bank holiday Monday. All right, Cole. For us, it's just a public holiday, but it's your yeah, King's birthday. All right. Yeah. I've always wondered why he gets why they get so many bloody birthdays. Well, you know, it's good to be the king. Uh, Mr. Mayfield says, no, I'm at my face-to-face, -face, but no one here at the moment. Oh. Okie dokie, mate. Well, if you're not doing anything next Friday, we've got a big session. Uh, well, we've got a... I've been invited to this beginning of Forces Day in Northampton. 
So if you want to rock up, more than welcome to. So if anybody's watching this before the 16th of June, we're at uh, the Delapree Abbey in Northampton on Friday. So please feel free to potter along, say hello. I'll put in my apologies now, mate. Uh, I wouldn't expect you to be there. Uh, I'll show off the 35 mug because I can. <laughs> uh, three squadron. No, I... RWF, as you would call it. We just call it RAF because we don't have to compete. All right, I shouldn't have done that. Showed off the mug. Oh, there we go. Because I, I, I'd cut out this little clear bit the, for the HUD, <laughs> and then I couldn't find it again. <laughs> oh, oh no! I need a toothpick. I need to disappear for a moment. I'll be about a minute. I could, I can, mate. That's fine. Not a problem. Well. You would call a cocktail stick. Have to translate. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel the need to translate, although I know you're not American. Back in no, a moment. Is that cleaned up and uh, the nose on? Come on. There we go. On oh, schnauzer on. Yeah, he's back. Cool. Welcome back. some pictures of uh, Tonka engines. So I've got to love the sound that thrust reverse makes. Yeah, I, I can only imagine. I haven't um, haven't heard it myself, of course. But it's um, obviously well, an electrical actuator, like a linear. Um, uh, this is a very good question, well presented. I haven't got a clue. Well, I could be wrong, is this an assumption? Because, you know, all the variable exhaust no nozzles on the jet engines I know are uh, operated by fuel as a hydraulic fluid. Yeah. Because it's available. <laughs> In vast quantities. So there was announced yesterday our local 
RWF base here is having a, a public air show um, later this year. Um, and I get to miss out on it, which is fantastic. I'll be over in the UK. Woohoo! So you don't have to worry about sort of trying to get a park or anything. It'll be good. And from what I understand, because we, we are near the beach, we're a bit, couple of, about a kilometre or two from the beach, um, eastern seaboard. And from what I understand, they're just going to open up the beach and all the flying will be above there. That way they don't have to shepherd people onto base and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. It sounds like a good idea. We'll see. As I say, I'll be in the other hemisphere. I won't care. Martin Broadwood said, morning chaps, or any other gender you want to be recognised by. <laughs> Gents, thanks. Personal choice. Yep. <sighs> I'm comfortable in my own uh, and lotion on its skin. Who's that? I've got somebody here to say hello. Okay. Hello. John, you're muted. How's that? Hi. That's better. This is Erin. So she's just come down yesterday from Townsville. Um, but yeah, they've just come back from seeing the. What's it called? A Spider-Man uh, movie? Across? Oh, Across the Spider-Verse. Yeah. It was good. So good. Great. Cool. Like, I managed to make it better than the first one, and I didn't think that was possible. I haven't seen the first one. Then you have to see the first one. Yeah. Revolutionary. <laughs> okay. All right. God. Cool. Anyway. Hello. Glad you enjoyed. enjoyed. Oh, right. Okay, I have to unlift the other stuff. Hmm. <laughs> she came in here to give me a Toblerone, which is very nice. Oh, Toblerone. Norm. Um. And back to the regular scheduled programming. Cool. Alright, so they're ready for spraying. Oh jeez. I'm gonna be spraying those gun metal. Using Alclad's gun metal. Which is very purple. Uh, and then you put a dry brush and then use uh probably stainless steel on the buckets. Mm-hmm. Oh, there they are. Right, I'm popping to get a drink. I'll be back in a mer. Uh, white with two things. Yeah. Uh, Mark says I uh, have to what be PC will... for days. And he also says hello. So, how are you getting on with Wendy, Mark? Yeah. 
to remember. What just told me I uh, achieved a move goal, which is pretty good by sitting here. Here we go. It's better. Glass of dandelion and burdock. Nomity, nomity, nom, nom, nom. Okay, that was just a couple of random words for me. I have no idea what you're referring to. Dandelion and burdock. Oh, mate. Uh, Dandelion and burdock. Oh, mate. Mark says, I've just put the final details on my RAF 1500 litre drop tanks. We'll run them through my printer this weekend. Oh, very nice, mate. Lovely. Uh, not started it yet. Okay, 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 looking forward to seeing that. Uh, Paul says, uh, uh, hi from Perth. Hello, Paul. So, your brother. Uh, he said, Mark then says, uh, shame I can't attach pics to show you. No, you can't. That's a big shame. Um, excuse me. Paul said, uh, last night I watched his show again where James May put together a one-to-one -one scale Spitfire. Brilliantly unique idea and well executed all concerned. Yes, that is a good program. I like that one. Toy Stories from memory? Uh, something like that, I believe, yeah. Yeah, that was great. Uh, All righty. Okay. Yep. There we go. Alright, now.
How's it looking, buddy? Um, it'll fit, but there's quite a quite a hideous gap. Yeah, uh, at the front there. But really, if you push back with positive pressure, that closes up. So it's, it's probably a matter of just holding it. Um, the intakes don't look so bad. Cool. Yeah. I'm just yeah, a bit more, bit, bit more putty and stuff, but we'll we'll get there. Goody, good, good, good. Are you happy with it? I think I will be. Um, not just yet. I mean, there's a little bit of a discrepancy. There's uh, the, um, I guess, what would you call it? Spill vent or whatever behind the intakes there. Bleed. Yeah. One is um, probably about double the height of the other. So I just need to maybe just trim trim the back of that. Yeah. But that will be just a blade. That'll be fine. Cool. Should be okay. <clears throat> I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I'll be too annoyed with it. Oh, look, the thing I was going to mention later, I'll mention now because it, it might be relevant to some Australian viewers. So I mentioned earlier we had a coffee catch-up with um, Defence Veterans as part of Soldier On, as we call it, one of the um, uh, well-being programs um, aligned with the Department of Veterans Affairs, obviously in Australia. So with that, there was a message... Um, on Facebook. There we go. I'll add to this without being too political. Um, the government, through DVA, has drastically slashed funding to soldier on. Uh, we can never rely on promises made to increasing veterans care, regardless of which party who makes it, of course. As a charity, Soldier On must now look to, at areas to cut costs. Uh, without people attending these activities, this is about the coffee catch-up. Without people turning up, it's likely to be the first to go. So if you turn up, you know, it's more likely to happen in the future. The statements, uh, some people have already been laid off. Soldier On has been notified that the Department of Veterans Affairs Enhancement Employment Support for Veterans, which is exactly the program I'm going through now, uh, the grant program will not be continued as part of the May federal budget. The ES, uh, EESV grant program has been the primary source of funding for Soldier On's Pathways Employment and Education Program. Soldier On has been advised that there is no identified alternative government funding stream available. As part of the cessation of this DBA funding, Soldier On will now need to re reassess the allocation and prioritisation of resources, scale back operations and refine our service delivery programs across the board. Soldier On's priority is to continue Soldier On's full help program and Pathways is a vital part of that model. During this time, we'll endeavour to minimise the impact or disruption to a range of services we provide to current serving and transitioning Australian Defence Force personnel, veterans and their families to ensure they are well supported. Talking to the lady today, she said uh, every day uh, in, uh, over the last week, there's um, about, she, she said that there's about 120 odd people laid off in the last week. Jesus Christ. But, you know, that won't make the papers or anything because defence is a bit on the nose at the moment. You might have seen allegations and stuff in court cases here in the last week. No. Uh, one, one of our um, Victoria Cross winners, awardees. Um, yeah, sued, sued paper uh, media for slander, and uh, the judge said, "No, it looks like there is evidence that you murdered this person on this day, and you did this." And yeah, it's pretty damning. <laughs> yeah, um, he's been a naughty boy. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well, if he didn't if, murder somebody, then he deserves everything he gets. You I can't know. hide behind a fucking award. Excuse my friend, you can't hide behind your award. No, no, I fully agree with that. My, my, my view is always, you know, we all turn up. We all get the brief on the laws of armed combat. We all sign a bit of paper saying we know and understand what yeah. we can and cannot do. 
And if you step outside that, you're told that you are liable for def um, military and or uh, civilian criminal charges. And that's exactly the path we're going down. So, you know. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Uh, yeah, it Sprue, Sprue and Glue's in. Give me a sec. Uh, hi, Steph, John and Chuck. Hello, Sprue and Glue. How you doing, what? mate? Uh, Mr. Marley's uh, young Paul says, sorry, older Paul says, careful what you say here. Yeah, we are public. Just remember that. Yes, yes. I know. But there was nothing in that, that which which isn't. Um, well, oh, in the, yeah, which is public knowledge or in, in the public domain. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, you're, you're safe with what you said. You were just reporting on what has been said. Yeah. It's but not I, like I you're sat there going, yeah, he's done this. He's done that. I know he's done this. I know he's done that. He did. He did. You've just said that he's been accused. If he of has, yes. But the thing yeah. is, it's not before the courts right now. So you know, I'm not going to say any more. The topic's over, and I am not. I was not there. So yeah, it's all you know, defences. I think on the nose in the public forum in Australia at the moment. Mm -hmm. well, it's certainly my impression, but it was on the nose for me anyway. Yeah. All right. So how was that Knicks game? Who, what, where, where and how, why? I'll just try and change the subject, Steph. Ah, uh, got you. I uh, wouldn't know, mate. Right. Here we go. So what I'm going to do to tackle all this fit issue or whatever, I'm going to glue the um, front fuselage onto the rear and then try to insert the ducts. Tell you what, I'll do both ways. So I'll put one duct on one side. <laughs> yeah, and then fit because the fact is where where that goes with locator pins and holes, it looks all of it lines up there. So any minor fit issues, like it's down to like a couple of thou. So it's it's you know I've certainly built a lot worse kids. Um, I wouldn't say anything on this is, is a struggle. No, that looks okay. No, I'll, just, I'll go the way I was going to. So I could either glue those together there and then slide that onto the rear or mm -hmm. pop them off, slide that onto the rear and then slide in the um, the ducts. But either way, they've got to go past that little lip there at the front of the, um, oh, what, what you'd call the glove vein on the on the Tomcat. I'm not, not sure what you called it on the Tonka. Which one? Oh, uh, the leading edge, bef you know, of bef the, the houses a swing mechanism. Kruger flaps. Kruger flaps. Yep, the ones that are never ever used. Right. Yeah. So, um, what I'm saying about. DVA and funding cuts and all that sort of stuff is mm. um, it's going to affect um, what I can do here running a program so I have no alternative but to go to um, model stores and ask for public support I can't rely on um, funding by DVA yeah. to, to, to run sessions um, which is unfortunate because they all think that it's a wonderful idea well, everyone I've spoken to I was speaking to one of the ladies yesterday and what she was saying, like she's a part of that uh, thing that is about to be cut. And what she was saying is like everyone in the organization that I've told about this thinks that it's a wonderful idea and we want you to pursue it more than anything else, more than yeah. um, seeking employment elsewhere. If you do this, you know, you're going to um, make everybody happy. And I just thought, mm, thank you. Oh, you will, mate. You so will I'm getting get support. Yeah. Then, if you've got to go to shops, go to shops. Yeah. But, you know, that, that happened today in the last 24 hours. So I just, you know, I haven't been down because I need to reassess. Yes, you do. On something like that, you need to reassess big style. But as I said, it's not a no. It certainly isn't, is it? And by the way she's talking, it sounds like they might invest in you, even oh. though they're cutting back in other places. We'll see. It's not my <laughs> not my decision. No, it's not. 
Oh, right. I I feel I'm going to knock something, uh, a seat out of the cockpit here shortly. It's okay. Just hold that. Give it a bit of positive sort of force. Oh God. Just while the glue is setting. Yeah. Right. Stainless steel. Yeah, I nearly knocked off a horizontal stab before. Got a bit of flex going on on, on that side. <laughs> but I just need to be a bit careful with that. is getting worse. It looks like the horizontal stabs are designed to be uh, movable, but why would you want that? So <laughs> I am gluing them in. Yes, I know what you mean. The only way I'm going to move them is dropping, you know, making, knocking off the right hand. <laughs> Fine. Oh well. Okay. You've so got the gap. You glue them in, and then you glue them to the main body. That yes. Stop I, knocking them off. Well, they are uh, so weak, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I had done that last week, but I, I broke that by knocking it just 10, ten minutes ago, five minutes ago. I've re-glued it, but I just want to make sure it's going to be straight now. It does look okay. That way. Right. Plastic Monkey says, uh, hello, Dave. And Dave responds and says, hello, Paul. And Mark says, what? Not wearing a mask when spraying painting? Lol. Ah, it's only small amounts. And my door's open. It's well ventilated. 
The only time I really wear a mask is when it's in the winter and the door's shut and the heating's on. And if I ever touch resin. Yeah. I'll never do anything with resin without a mask. Okay. locating pips on the inside faces of the engine intakes. Yep. I'm going to remove them. I think they're more trouble than what they're worth. So, Paul, if you're still watching, you were discussing the other day which kit you're going to do next. Have you given any more thought to that? Is it still going to be the Tomcat? Tell the world. He, yes, tell us all, Paul. So, I, I mentioned the other day, Steph, that uh, as of, I think, three days ago, Paul and I have paid for our airline tickets across to Telford later in the year, so cool. that that was a development, and we're happy yep. about that. Look forward to that. Uh, Mr. Marley's saying, uh, ice brown glue, hand pink waving. <laughs> so I think that's a pink hand waving, like that. That's <laughs> a pink, well, that's a flesh grid. There we go. That's okay. I think what I might do, mate, is just run it till 12. Oh, yeah. Because I've got lease is off today. It's not very well. So. Oh, that's no good. Mm, you sure all the best? I will do. And, yeah. So I'm quite happy with that. That's all done. That needs to be painted black and then the canopy stuck on. Good song, that. So then that's all ready for painting. Yeah. So let's get the flat black out. A bit of uh, homemade paint retarder. Tell me how you do that again. Uh, good question. Well presented. Have a look on my webpage, on my YouTube nope. channel, and it will tell you exactly how you do it. Thank you, Mr. Budget. <laughs> and that also needs a drop of homebrew thinners. Yay. If it's not awful, it's, it's certainly better with the, um, the locating pips, sand yeah. or cut flush. Um, but certainly doable. The gaps are oh so much smaller. Happy with that.
Ah, oh, much better. Yeah. There we go. You don't believe that was hand brushed. Huh. The coverage is awesome. Very and it works. Up. Such a treat. So, so, so uh, what paint is that? Tamiya XF1. There you go. All right. With uh, one drop of paint retarder, two drop of thinners in it. All of them did was shake it. And use what was in the cap. Hmm. Put this little tinkers away. There we go. Oh, oh I need to change that. Oh, my flow aid has got some growth in it. Oh, just seeing that. Yeah, because it's glycerin and distilled water. So that needs uh, changing. <laughs> Obviously, something was in the distilled water or in the little bottle. Hmm. Oh, looking good, mate. So I asked Paul earlier what he was going to build next. He's he's answered there. Oh, cool. There's some other comments there as well. Uh uh, yes, I'll try that one, he says. And Sprue and Glue saying hi, hi, he can't remember. And then uh, the 170 second has to go at F14 after I licked one. I'm inspired. Oh, dear. It's a bit of a window licker, is your brother? <laughs> he was in Hawaii recently. They had one. Uh, at the uh, Pacific Air Museum. Got you. Pombilt modeling. Uh, evening, guys. Evening, Pombilt. Hope you're well. Evening. Yeah, that doesn't suck. <laughs> Those gaps are quite. I mean, yeah, where the intakes join onto the fuselage, there certainly. Um, yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't throw it against a wall. Have you ever done that? Have you ever sort of like uh, cat fived a model? Just went, ah, no. Oh, well, I've cat fived the model because it, it just what every time I touched one, it just it, something for else fell off. <laughs> and in the end, I just in the bin, boom, gone. Just no, because every time I touch something, it fell. Out. I think I've done that twice. Right. Um, yeah, I d I've done it once from memory. It was a uh, what would be now a vintage classic airpix. It was a Donia Seventeen E. All Not right. their latest one. Um, yeah. It's horrendous fit issues, and I just I just put them in and just went, nah, I'm not going to deal with this. Yeah. Uh, Sprue says, well, guys, please remember to thumb the screen. Yep, thank you very much. If you could give us a thumbs up, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Paul, you can lick the screen. Yes, if you want to, please lick the screen. A screen licking window licker. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just a matter of uh, lots of things are drying at the moment that I can't really touch. I've just got to leave them now. Yeah. So. Well, that's, that's it's certainly looking like a tornado, so I'm happy with that. Oh. There was progress. Yes. Progress is always. Oh, good Lord, I've gone. Come on. Thank you. My bloody autofocus. Probably because the door's open. Uh, yeah, it's the door's open. Mm. Yeah. Right, it's we've been going fifty minutes. Let's have a look what you've done. 
So I think we're both at a stage now where we can't progress for for a while because things need to dry. I'd agree. So yeah, yeah what you got done then, matey? Let's have a look. All right. So um, yeah. So all I've managed to do really well the uh, the frame is photo etch frame for the HUD. Um, before I, oh, I haven't I haven't stuck the screen on yet. Have I misplaced it again? I'll, <laughs> I've got a spare. That's okay. Um, but the reflector lens, um, yep. you can't really see, but I painted that a very sort of dull green. Um, um, yep, the nose section is onto the fuselage all the way around, as you can see, and the intakes are on. You know, so if you're going to build this kit uh, yourself, I would recommend uh, cutting off the, the locating tabs they they seem to misalign the intakes once they're gone and everything everything seems a lot happier so the, i was worried about the gap the bleed yeah, gaps are there and that's much better now and um everything everything meets up and what doesn't meet up is certainly fixable with just party of your choice so that's that's quite all right um nothing really else has progressed but uh it's looking like a like um what's on the box a tonka a tonka. What about yourself? Me? Right. What have I got done? So. There we go. I have got done. The engines. They are sprayed with Alcrides gun metal. <laughs> so they've both been done. I have got done the reverse thrust buckets in stainless steel. And the internal bits in gunmetal. So they've been done. Um, this has all been sanded back. That's now drying quite nicely. So nose on. That's all been sanded back. And the wings have now got the correct alignment. So yeah. that is where I am. Very so good. hopefully we'll be moved. I should have moved on to uh, it all put together by next week. Nice. So we've got another. We'll do another one on Tuesday. Yep. Yeah, I'll be free for that. Cool. Sounds like a plan, Stab. So, on that note. If you'd like to say your batty ties, young man. Uru. We'll catch um, you in a couple of days. Yep. Uh, for those of you that are model heroes, we're on tonight. And then we have the Sunday show, which is public uh, from 9 a.m. UK time. So we will see you all there. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Keep modeling. Bye. See ya.